I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whisperers Creative Cards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Friday and that means it's Tip Friday. And hopefully you saw my video where I created these gorgeous cards using the A Little Lace Bundle, which includes the stamp set and the gorgeous stitched lace dies. Today's tip is going to be detailed real time on how to use this large die. Okay, I will tell you once you get it cut out, you're going to use this piece here, and you're going to line up, and what I like to do are there's these little V's. Do you see the V's? And you can line them up underneath here, just like such, and you want to make sure that your circles are showing. When I say circles, see the little circles at the bottom? And then, of course, I use my scotch removal tape, tape that on there, and run it through my Big Shot like this. You can cut different sections out. You can do just a trio section, however you want it. That's that's easy, okay? That's a no-brainer once it's done at this point. But what I want to show you is this large die is so super detailed. And let me get this stuff out of the way. It's so super, super detailed. And before you jump on and say, oh, my die is bad, remember, Every cutting machine has got different tension in it. Depends on how much you've used it. Your plates figure into it because everywhere it's cut, that's going to relieve pressure in areas. So, I've tried all kinds of things to see what's the best. Here's what worked the best for me. Big Shot Platform. Thin die adapter. Plate on the bottom. Okay? Take the die... You want to cant it just a bit, okay? You don't want to run it in straight. Cant it just a bit. Take your cardstock, put it on top, all right? Make sure you get that exactly straight because obviously this is a, a pattern that runs straight, all right? Now, I'm doing this all in real time. So, I want to put my acrylic plate on top so that completes my sandwich. I'm going to run it through my die machine and reverse it and come right back through. And I'm not speeding anything up so you can see exactly how long this is truly taking me. It's going to be snug, okay? So just be aware. And like I said, let me say it again. Every machine is different. Now, so here we go. All right. Now let's set that aside. And you can see that it has cut everything. This is important. Take this just like it is to your trash can because I want to video it. I'm bringing a tray in. Leave the cardstock in here. Grab your take your pick brush. Okay, this is new. You can order it to put it on your take your pick tool. Leave this in here and over your trash, you're just going to start running it back and forth. Okay, you're going to run it up and down and sideways every which way you can and of course it's gonna if you hold it down in your trash can you're not gonna have this big a mess trust me this die is gorgeous once you figure out how to use it like I'm telling you you are going to absolutely love it now I'm gonna get just as much as I can by using don't take it out. Trust me. I tried it every which way. Do not put the adhesive sheets on the back. I tried that too. Not thinking. Oh, light bulb moment. You put those adhesive sheets on there and these little pieces start flicking out. Guess what? You got little pieces stuck to everything and under the sky. And it's critical when you're done making or using it one time that you go back and you make sure you have every piece of cardstock out of it or it's going to affect how it cuts the next time. Look at all those pieces. Now, here you go. Now, go back to your Take Your Pick tool and get your spatula in and just start running it over it. In your trash can, okay? Because I'm going to get to clean up a fun little mess here, but that's okay. I want you to see just how easy this is. Now, see, I can look through here and see some places, and I can go back and rub my brush over them. 
because it's so much easier when you have it still in the die. I tried it every way. Okay, so that's popped up some more. You see those? And of course, when you buy the bundle, you're going to save 10%. Everybody likes to save 10%. And if it's not scraping it from one side, go to, go from a different angle. All right? All right. That's pretty good. Now I'm just going to grab me some tweezers. And I'm just and it softens up the cardstock because it's so detailed. Now, I'm looking at my die. And I see a piece here that I would want to clean out. But all in all, it looks great, okay? So, we'll take our little mess and put it over here to the side. Now, let's look at, I see a piece there. Pretty stinking good. So, look, either that's real time. I wanted you guys to see that is the easiest way to use this die. It is stunning. I think you will love it. Just do what I said there and you'll be one happy camper. Don't assume that the die, there's something wrong with the die, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed today's tip video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, if you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.